Welcome to Soul TV. Episode 11 to be exact. Well, let's see what we have today for this episode. What are you looking at? The episode. But we haven't even filmed the rest. Well, on with the show. Last week we had our, our kick off the Kids Heart Challenge. The Kids Heart Challenge helped raise funds for those who have heart disease. There will be a bunch of activities for the whole school to participate in. I hope they have water balloons again. It was so oh, I remember last year they had some really awesome prizes. Yeah, the greater the donations you get, the more prizes you get. I hope I get a few keychains like these. Action! St. Patrick's Day is on Tuesday, March 17th. Yeah, so wear some green and show your pride. But isn't there just more than just wearing green? St. Patrick's Day celebrates St. Patrick. One story about St. Patrick is that he drove the snakes out of Ireland. He also used a clover to explain the Holy Trinity. Today though, most people just celebrate Irish and green on St. Patrick's Day. So maybe you'll see a leprechaun. Ooh. Yeah, I want to see a leprechaun. Me too. That's just what I want. It's time for birth... Um, come on, he's late every single time! Jordan, get in here! What? Say your line! Birthday started five minutes ago? No, birthday just started five hours ago! Well, where are those birthdays? Hello, I am Sophia from Mrs. Hernandez's class, and right now I'm doing a book on Have You Filled Anyone's Bucket Today? It's a book about how there's an invisible bucket with everybody. You can't see it, but if someone's being mean to you, it dips into your bucket, and your bucket goes low if it's not filled. But if you're nice to someone, it will fill up their bucket. And it's very, it ha has an important lesson in it. So, like, so like, it's like don't be mean because sometimes people be mean because they have a bad day or they're not, or like they're having a really bad day and just like, oh, I don't want to do this. So it basically has a really important lesson. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. Oh! <laughs>
let's try to dry our hands and not rub it. XFL game. So here's some clips of the real XFL game from fans' perspective. Also, the clinic for girls and boys got canceled because of the rain. But that's okay because they will be rescheduled. So that's all we have for this week's sports segment. Today I want to talk to you about music, and in particular, the music we use in videos, podcasts, or anything audio that gets posted on the internet. You see, it's really easy to go to YouTube and search up your favorite artists and find tons of music, but there's one little problem. When you use certain music in your videos or your podcast, they have copyrights, and a copyright music means that only certain people can use them or make money off of them. If you put copyrighted music into your YouTube video, it might be muted or has to have ads on it, or it might be taken down. So I wanna give you some options to find music and audio that is not copyrighted and that is royalty free or free to use. Now, the first place and the easiest place to go is YouTube's own audio library. YouTube has an audio library filled with sound effects and free music. Now what's really cool is you can sample these songs, sample the music just by playing. And it will even tell you what type of copyright it has or what type of usage. You can come in and go by genre, mood, instrument, duration, and then attribution. Do you have to credit the original creator of the music? Or do you just have to let it be? Attribution required means you have to credit the original creator. Attribution not required, you don't. You can use it any way they tell you you can. 
Now, another place to find this is Ben Sound. This is another useful tool to just find all sorts of sounds, songs, and others. You don't have to register, and it has free music here. You can download it after listening to it, and as well, search it by type of music. When you're using music, like maybe on Soundtrap, you're making podcasts and you want some cinematic background music to really drive home your point or a really cool sound effect, just remember, think about how you can use it and what the audience is going to have. Copyright is a major thing, but if you use these tools, you'll find music that's royalty free, copyright free, and sounds pretty good. To give you an idea, almost all music used in Soul TV has been found in a YouTube audio library or on a royalty free website. We do this so our videos don't get hit or taken down. So. Next time you're gonna make a video and you need some music, check out the audio library. You can just Google search YouTube audio library and it will come up. That's this week's teacher tech tip. Oh, oh, well bye. No, let's take something else before we go. But what? Bye. Bye. That's it.